Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farmhouse and I'm back today to share with you another one of my scrap fabric pillow covers. Today we're going to be doing a no-sew um, pumpkin pillow cover for fall and I cannot wait to show it to you. Uh, if you love budget-friendly uh, DIY projects and decorating ideas, then you're in the right place because that's what I'm all about. So be sure and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my adventures. Today's uh, scrap fabric pillow cover is um, inspired by a quilt that I found at a yard sale. I just love the colors in it, and I thought I would love to have a pillow that kind of coordinated with that. So I have these um, lumbar size pillow covers. I'm gonna give you a link to them because they're very inexpensive so that you don't have to actually sew the pillow cover itself. And this, this is a no-sew project, and we're gonna be using a bunch of scrap fabrics here. And I'm going to show you how I chose those fabrics. Um, we'll take you into our guest bedroom to see the quilt cover. And um, so let's get started. Okay, here's the beautiful quilt that I found. And I've just pulled out some of the different scrap fabrics that I have in my little bins in my office. And we're going to decide which ones we like the best for this project. We begin by just cutting about a quarter of an inch in on a piece of fabric and then just ripping it. The reason you want to rip it instead of tear it is because you want it to curl as much as possible and this helps it to curl so we'll be ready to add it to the pillow cover. Okay, now that you saw how I was inspired by the pillow, uh, by the um, old quilt and the fabrics that I chose and how we tear them up and everything. Now we're ready to get this project started. Uh, another thing that I did is I just cut out some templates out of some uh, different uh, pieces of scrap paper and stuff that I had around. And uh, I'm gonna put five pumpkins on the front of this pillow cover. So I'm gonna take each one of them and draw off a design. Um, so all you need is your templates, your pillow cover, you need all of your scrap fabrics and then some Sharpies uh, to draw your pattern with. And then you want to be sure that you're using a permanent fabric glue. And this um, is what I've been using uh, for all of my projects. And they have held up wonderfully, even if they're on a sofa where someone's sitting up against them, um, we've, we've not had any trouble. So, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna bring the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing, and so let's get started. I'm just adding a small amount of water to the glue to, I'm gonna make some little curls with you strain. What I'm doing is I'm just tying them onto a straw after they've been soaked in the uh, glue solution, and then we'll let them dry, and when they're dry, we'll have some little curls to add to our pumpkins. Okay, first we wanna put a protective barrier between the pillow cover because uh, we, in case the glue goes through, we don't want it to stick together. And I'm just using a piece of wax paper inside um, the pillow cover. Next, we're just going to determine exactly where we want each of our pumpkins to be. So I'm just laying out the little templates that I created and um, you're just checking it out to see that we get it even. And then we're going to be tracing it on. So let's get started. Now we're ready to add some of the glue and we just start out in small segments. And then as you're applying the strips of uh, fabric, you want to twist it as you go. Now this is just an optional step if you'd like to put the little curly cues on the um, pumpkins. This is uh, the ones that we started with. We're just, uh, they're dry now and I'm just cutting them into little pieces and we're just going to use the glue just to attach them uh, at the top of the stems 
uh, like you would see on a pumpkin. Mm -hmm.